We're live now. Huh. We're live on TikTok. Oh, okay. Let's start that over, guys. What's up? We're Flex Bros. We got J. Cole in the finger. The knowledge isn't here. But we're still going to spit some knowledge for his sake. We're going to tell y'all how our New Year's resolutions became either better or worse. Apparently for J. Cole, it's going to get worse. How about you? How about you, Mr. Thump? It's gonna look good. It's gonna look pretty beautiful. It's gonna look a masterpiece. So you, I'm gonna be happy about 2023. This man's going, he's going all out for the positivity. I see. Is that is this, this one here? He's going all for the positiveness, right? Going for the positivity. I, <laughs> I, that's that's what you want. Um, <laughs> this year, I'm going for uh, more toxicity. Yeah. I'm straight bagging right now, bro. Yo, 2023 is gonna be straight. No time for nobody. Unless they make Yo, let me stop that. Yo, who did you find him? Um, there was like a discount at the Dollar Tree. <laughs> nah, bro, what you talking about? I was at five below. You know this already. <laughs> Buy one, get one free. <laughs> oh, that, yo, that vacation got come handy. Huh? That vacation better come for you. Yo, This is why I should have been left in 2022. You should have been left in 2022. <laughs> Left in 2020. <laughs> yeah, you're right. That's when everything was starting to go downhill. You're right. I should have just, just ended it right there. Should I take it out with the vid? <laughs> the vid should have took you out. Nah, yo. Straight COVID. As soon as it hit, I should have been Project Zero. Yo, you should have been. Should have been the. Hey, yo, I should have been the reason. You should have been the bat. You should have ate the bat. So you were the one that caused it. I'm, I'm sorry. Dude, I'm sorry. It's a light skin. It's a light skin. Everyone's like, everyone's like playing the light skin. Too. Yeah, I don't know. I, I can't stand these light skin motherfuckers. Yeah, say that no more. He's Puerto Rican. <laughs> what is that? Oh, uh, he's Spanish. He, he's <laughs> part of a different country. He just lives here. <laughs> Illegally. <laughs> you're black. <laughs> I love you. that you're going to discriminate against right now, sir? I feel like this is, I feel like you're becoming hostile to the, the white section. I'm, Did my master, or our old master, put you to the ring? I'm going to break it down for you, brother. I'm going to break it down for you. <laughs> I'm a field nigga. Exactly. You was in the house. Yeah, so you probably feel some animosity. <laughs> and I, was, I don't. I don't. And I was somewhere swimming. <laughs> <laughs> On a banana boat. Well, I was cooking the chicken. You was picking the yeah, cotton. Yeah, I was in the field picking the goddamn cotton. Hey, yo. So he was, he's mad. That's, I'm I'm not, I'm he's can, mad. He was mad, we, though. Can we do a new year resolution to stop with all this colorism shit? <laughs> Yo, that's what, that's the fact. Can the war against black people, like, like internally, we, we gotta like, stop fighting each other and pay, pay attention to these white motherfuckers. <laughs> like the war of the dark skin and light skin need to end, and we should just the war on the. Yo, that, it's not gonna stop. It's not, bro. It's why not. is black on black crime considered a norm? <laughs> it's because these dark skins. <laughs> yo, yo I, I I cannot see Jeremiah committing a crime. You stop it. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, yo. I got a question. What's going on? If y'all so dark and committing crimes at night. How y'all get caught? <laughs> How y'all end up in jail? Y'all don't see that many light skins in there? They do it in the light. <laughs> nah, it's well, light skin. <laughs> I had this talk earlier with a friend of mine. Yeah. And he's like, I mean, because he's light skin, so he be incognito. I'm like, nigga, you are bright as a motherfucker. You can go get caught real easily. Motherfucker say you a walking glow stick. <laughs> nah, right. No, no, no. He ain't a walking glow stick. You fit it with the trees. Keep right. like the bark. <laughs> I, got, I got a joke for you. I got a joke for you since you brought this up. Listen. All right, so a man is murdered by a white man in a dark alley. Yeah. Right. The white man just walks away and starts sitting on a bench. Right. Cops come and he questions everyone that's on the scene. Right. The black man, an Asian man, and the white man. Mm -hmm. Who are they blaming? The black man. How? They can't see him. He's in the alley. Skin color. How? They can't find him. He's in the alley. Because the, they're not going to arrest the white man. And well, they're not going to arrest the Asian man. Exactly. So they're going to be after the black man. How? They can't find him either. He's in the alley. Flashlight. <laughs> <laughs> Flashlight that motherfucker. Oh, there you go. I, 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 don't, I don't get the joke. <laughs> My no man. one gets arrested. No one gets arrested. No cop's gonna arrest a white man for no murder. No one's gonna expect well, an yeah. Asian man to commit a murder. Well, obviously. And no one's gonna find the black man since he's still in the black alley. 
He's, what he's trying to say is he, he, he was slavery, slavery door. That's what he's trying to say. Fuck <laughs> on the wall. <laughs> I know. I ain't trying to go back down that road. So for New Year's, I say like all black people should start loving each other. No matter what color skin color. Yo, do, it's just, y'all I was just told. Us. What are you talking about? Wait, wait, wait. Wait. I, I was just told this wall's giving Franklin. Because <laughs> like, like, I, I don't know why because it's not even the same shade of blue. <laughs> it's Look. not even gold, it's yellow. Look. No, I told my life. Only reason why I say that. Y'all light skin can make this dark set look good. <laughs> how? Can you tell us that. Tell us how. First of all, y'all be wanting to act too fucking pretty sometimes. And then we be. <laughs> he said, he said, he said. <laughs> yeah, we be trying to look. <laughs> he said. Like, what the fuck? It's the, it's the squint. The, it's, it's the squint. It's, um, I'm sorry. The light skins have the squint and then the. Yeah. We like. And then the licking of the lips. Yo, for real, what? Oh, like, you want to be so funny, though? Yeah. Statistics show that light skins turn gay. More oh, dark skins. Interesting. So interesting. you might be on that. It's, it's a good nah, thing I'm man. Hispanic. <laughs> 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 nah, I, I mean... <laughs> I didn't like the odds. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Yo, what? Yo. Wait, wait. Damn! Wait, wait, wait. I have, I, have a, I have a question, though. I got a question. So, Justin, what's your excuse? Hey, yo. <laughs> oh, fuck all that. <laughs> oh, we, you shout out for that one. You are top three for that one. <laughs> you are top three. Now, what you say? I say, so what's your excuse? Now? I got what I got over the break. So, I, so. You got some ass? No, no, he gave some. <laughs> no, I, I got plenty of what I got plenty of. Did, headaches. <laughs> headaches. That headache was a real big headache. <laughs> Though, what do you mean you're not getting in your Uber? <laughs> <laughs> I called this thing 15 minutes ago. Where <laughs> is it? <laughs> Why are you emptying out a drawer? <laughs> Open the glove compartment. Why don't you bring your clothes back on? Bro, to yo, can I ask you a question? Females, 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 females. Why do y'all like leaving stuff in your man's car? <laughs> No, no. How about why do I like leaving something in the car? Period. Well, to show another, if, if another, okay. This is literally why because they actually asked the question before and it was on some other podcast. They mm-hmm. literally said it's literally because they know if another female gets inside of it, they'll know because the other female has a habit of moving their shit. So therefore, they're doing it to trap you. Here's the thing: I have the habit of moving shit. <laughs> if shit is in my car, it doesn't belong in my car. It ends up in the trash. <laughs> No, but think about it. Next thing you know, they'll be like, oh, so where is this and this? I'm about to throw it out. Right? They're going to start questioning you about it. So they're trying to catch you. They're going to get you try to catch you up. Like, oh, who else did you have in this car? Who did you get my hair tied to? Can we do a New Year's resolution of just trusting one another? <laughs> Can we just have trust? I don't... See, what happened to trust? Today's society tells us not to trust anybody. Exactly. You can't trust nobody. Then how you know your grandma not going to switch up on you? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Like, you can't even trust your family no more. Like, I don't know, uh, Mima. Bro, yo, think about this. You can't even trust your kids when they come out the womb. They might take your funds. Bro, you can't trust, you know, you can't trust the kid when they come out the womb because why did that kid look like the neighbor? <laughs> I, why is that baby look like officer? Nah. Joshua? <laughs> Bitch, you been fucking the prison guard? <laughs> nah, what was the kid wound special? That's what we just talking about. Oh, yeah, he was like, no, why, when he was in gym? Yes! Yeah. And why does the baby look like Alfred? Let me break it down to you. I've been here 17 consecutive ass. years. Do you know what consecutive years mean? 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 They mean one right after the motherfucking mother. White skin. Like, like, that one be mine. I'm not sure who you name him, Daryl. Don't mean he belongs to Darren. But I don't care what that baby's name is. That baby's light skinned, but not light skinned. <laughs> but I think they a really, really good point, though. Trusting each other. What's in, in today's society? What's going to be an actual relationship now? What's twenty three? What's twenty twenty three's relationship ideal relationship going to look like? Yo, happy New Year's, baby. What's up? But you know what I, you know what I mean. Like that's the we don't know what the ideal relationship is going to look like now because everyone's either on the left side or the right side. There's no in the middle unless you're following your parents old ways and you got married before this. And nowadays. Bro. It's going to be either the girl's going to be trying to take your money and the guy's sitting for them, or the guy's just going to stay single, the girl's just going to stay single. Nah, bro, we just need to have, we got to bring back trust. You know, you know what we need to bring back? 
We need to bring back Club Penguin. That too. <laughs> I was gonna say we need to bring back courting. Courting? Yeah, you know what courting is? Nah. So here's the thing. Times were a lot better when you had to go to their parents to ask for their hand in marriage. They don't do that anymore. Nah, bro. Half the time you just wait till the third kid comes down. You're like, well, I gave you three kids. I might as well marry you. Bro. All right. So I guess that's like a. I feel like that's just a respecting out of my thing. Like, if you don't meet their parents before, like, you do anything. That's. That's like. Oh yeah, yeah. Like, don't be wrong. You you should always ask the father's hand for the marriage. Like, but we also live in a society where we're very like no longer patriarchal. Patriarchal. I don't have to work. It's not really like man dominated anymore. Like you know what I mean. Like we're trying to move away from that too. So I understand why that's not being done anymore. But here's the thing. Cause you know I would like for somebody to ask my mom for my hand in marriage. She's gonna probably gonna say she don't give a fuck. But still. Here's the thing. Will roles finally be reversed? Uh, uh I I rather they didn't. I don't want to be the one receiving. <laughs> <laughs> no, but think of no, in, <laughs> think seriously. <laughs> For one second, think serious. The road to There's so much wrong with you. Bro. I, I don't mind being a stay-at-home dad. There's something wrong with you. I wouldn't mind being a stay-at-home dad. I'd like a dream come true. Nah, but like, if everyone's trying to be independent, yeah. what does that mean for the relationship nowadays? What like, sense? It doesn't make any sense anymore. Because let's say we want to. I'm not shitting on any women right now, but let's say we want to go back to like the traditional ways. Man works, women stays home and feeds the kids. And takes care of the kids at home. I don't know I got a breastfeed, I'm with it. Right? That's an issue now. <clears throat> that is a complete issue in today's society. They don't want that anymore. Yeah, what? These people want... The man is the only one working, the women staying at home feeding the kids and taking care of the kids. Look, man. All I'm saying is if somebody breaks into the house, somebody breaks into your house, who you hiding behind? As the man of the house, you're not going to be hiding behind your, your wife. You're going to be putting yourself first. <clears throat> However, in today's society, if you want to be equal, why aren't we staying there together? No, it depends. Do I have kids? Because these females are going to go 50-50. Nah, they, it's straight 100. They don't, hundred believe, they don't believe in that tradition. Or the, the videos where you see the, um, oh, yeah, let's have, uh, my man can't have a job because I want to be spontaneous. My man can't have a job? Bro. You didn't see that video? No. What? My this man can't have a these job. two girls was on a podcast and they said that their man cannot have a job. They cannot deal with a man with a job. Yeah, because nine to five. it no a job in general. No nine to five. They said no. They gonna mess with the scammers, the drug dealers, so the you saw the rappers. That's what that's the ones they want. The niggas on the block. They want all the ones. The if you have, they want you to have the amount of money already set aside where you don't have to do anything else for the rest of your life. So therefore, if they want to go to Jamaica for a week, you can just drop everything and just go. Oh wow, interesting. I, you know. <clears throat> That's what they really want. They want them. They want those fast money guys. They don't want the guys coming out. The, the and the other one street nigga. That's what they really want. And then the other fact of, let's say that we're both working. Mm -hmm. Whose money's whose? Oh, my money's my money. Well, no, no, no. I'm, I ain't I'm, sure. Look, look. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna tell you. How, I'm gonna tell you how it did it broken down, right? Mm -hmm. When you in a relationship, mm -hmm. or when you married, mm -hmm. the, the women and the woman's mind, it's. My money is my money, and his money is my money. Bullshit. That's my that, money. That's my it. Own money. Nice. But here's the thing. That's the thing. No matter what, once that actually happens, if you're not giving that hundred percent, then you're not taking care of. It. That's a society. Like, like I want to be taken care of. How come, how come I don't get my my feet and nails paid for? Right. Why don't you pay for my hair clips? Now, if you have a girl that actually does that, respect. respect. Like you got down. Like, you got you got one of the good ones. But I'm not gonna over here. <clears throat> If you listen to the female rappers, they brainwash a lot of these females. It's not even even the rappers, it's just social media. But think of is social media, but think about that too, because think about it. You had city girls, what they talk about, hot girl summer, what are they gonna do? Be outside, be with their friends, go down to Miami, go to beach parties, go do X, Y, and Z. Ready for this? Become bots, break niggas' hearts, just so we can do the same thing back to them. Right? And then we're yeah. we're the bad guys. Well, it's a cycle. What happens is but then wait, 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 hold on. But after doing all that, by the time fall hits, 
what they want to do? Cuddle. Not, they cuddle, want season. cuddle. They want they cuddle want, season. Yeah, they cuddle, want cuddle season. season. Pick they want to do pictures with on Halloween and with Thanksgiving. Nah, fuck that. Valentine's Day, Valentine's New Day. Year's. That's all they like, want. Like over here, to, like you know, what I hate. I hate when Valentine's Day falls. <laughs> Wait, is it not delivery? Hell no. Dude. What is it? What you talking Stop. about? GoPuff? No, no, no. Nah, it's not nah. delivery. It's a journal. Yeah, I'm, I'm GoPuff. Red Baron. Red Baron. Bro, it's, it's that Damn. school pizza. Damn right. Bro, nah. I'm, those uh, flat like, pizzas? The, Eleno, the El- Elios? Yo, I ain't gonna lie, though. Them school pizzas used to hit. Nah, nah they did. Nah, the broccoli cheddar on the flatbread? Add some ranch to that? Yo, the, the, them chicken patties from school? Add some barbecue sauce and ranch? School lunch. Oh yeah, New Year's resolution. Let's bring back some, you know, school lunches. Yo, to older people. Yo, can we have work lunches? Like, why is that not a thing? Like, school made me believe that if you're in a building for multiple hours a day, they're gonna supply you with food. That's like, very true. Is there a cafeteria in your job? <laughs> Barely a break room. No, it's a cafeteria. But you gotta, I got a, I got a vending machine. I got a vending machine. We got, a, we got a small little <laughs> kitchen that gives out free coffee. Yeah, I eat in my van. <laughs> <laughs> no, we got a cafeteria. I just got a microwave. <laughs> Wow, yeah, we got we got, okay. Yeah, you got a I work. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a service tech. I'm on the road all day. Yeah, oh, so it's different. So, so I want hot food. I gotta buy it. <laughs> at FedEx, we have like an, our actual like break room. So it's actually. Oh, like, what FedEx you work at? East Market. Well, it's because you, you you ain't a delivery driver. Nah. You, you're in the warehouse. In the you know. Warehouse, what I mean? yeah. When well, you I already, I already experienced that shit. Yeah, when when you on the so road, you, you been to have you been to the East Market? No, I went to the one in um uh, the off of um, Madison. Yeah. Yeah, they, they have they're like, like a other, room. They're like other shit from my house. Nah, they Bro, have a <laughs> this this place all has all I bought was was a uh, Red Bull and honey buns. <laughs> <laughs> this place has like three full vending machines and like a little small market that you can buy stuff at. It has a full, they have a full full kitchen, a game room, a place where you can sleep, a cafeteria with working TVs that you want to bring like a gaming system. Uh, yeah, like, all that stuff. Who, who bring a gaming system to work? I mean, you're not allowed to bring electronics, but I think you can bring a gaming system to chill for a little bit. Bro, I remember in the AIT, right? And they had to, we used to have the nice vending machines. And that's when I discovered that you take a honey bun, you put it in the microwave for like 30 seconds. Oh my God. Oh. Yo, the big Texans, they don't make them no more like that, though. That's the only issue. Bro, New Year's resolution bring back the original Twinkie recipe. Word. I was, I just had a, I had a freaking thing. I had a conversation about that like, the other day. What happened to Hostess? How come we don't like anything from Hostess no more? As a kid, we love it. If we give it to a child right now, they'll love it. But as an adult, when we're older, <clears throat> It tastes nothing Can, like we did when we were younger. Question. Do you guys think the reason why um we can't see the shape of tricks anymore is because tricks are for kids? Oh, snap. I just realized that. That's a deep question. That is so true. <laughs> That's a deep question. Oh, snap. Is the reason why we can't see the shape of tricks anymore is because tricks are for kids? Did the bunny ever catch the... No, nah, he didn't catch the... Hey, yo, what happened to the leprechaun? I think I've been running. <laughs> <laughs> yo, think about how many years those men been running from. Be like, yo, what happened to the kids? That they get older, they're the same kids. No. What happened to Toucan and Sam? Sure. He went extinct. That's what, yo. What happened to the cinnamon and apple? What's up, Isaiah? Yo. What happened to uh, Snap, Cracker, and Pop? <laughs> well, you heard, you know, Pop, he brought, yeah, apparently he came out the closet. <laughs> Barely. <laughs> That's what I heard last time. Uh, Too soon. Too nah, soon. not really. <laughs> nah, but for real, though, guys. New Year's resolution. What? What's a resolve you guys want to accomplish this 2023? I want to start my company. I want to make more people cry. Like I don't I care. Laugh, but it's self fucked up. Like, Go ahead. like I don't care if it's like a baby. So I don't care if it's like children, <laughs> adults. I just, I just want to see tears. Yo, this man's taking lollipops from every child he sees, bro. Yo, yo, have you ever tried taking candy from a baby? That shit's harder than to make it seem. Yo, they be grasping onto that thing. Like, yo, I'm gonna let you know, my hard. godson has a death grip. That he got my beard, and I'm scared he's gonna pull like a whole chunk of hair out. Like he, has, I am not it's, trying to take no candy from that little dog. Bro, kids in kids in general in food is just. Yo, New Year resolution: teach your kids to wash their hands. <laughs> There's no reason why the COVID cases in these schools are so high. Shit, come work at the high school. That's worse. Well, that's because you can't have freaking hand sanitizer in school anymore. Can be no, drinking, drinking it. it. Disrespectfully. 
Was y'all there? Oh, y'all wasn't there when they was drinking the, the actual sanitizer. Yeah. And they went straight to the hospital. Yes. Yes. <clears throat> That's why they didn't have my classrooms no more. I'm like, how y'all ruin cleanliness? <laughs> how y'all ruin disinfecting, bro? You want to get drunk in school? Because they saw the word alcohol. They were like, oh, yeah, we're going to drink al- the, this little alcohol shit. And you just drank it. it Yo, like, oh, you yeah, can't just get into your parents' stash and bring in a water bottle like everybody else. Everyone did that. Everyone. <laughs> Yo, my favorite was like no colored water bottle. Everybody, <laughs> bro. Bro, I was bringing tequila, Jack, anything I get in my hands. Oh, it's just Coke. We got him. We got him. That's for what's in what's in your resolution for you? Yeah. My New Year's resolution. Hmm. I guess just being me, working hard, and just stay focused. And enjoy life, pretty much. No fuck that you get money, you know that? Well, I'm just gonna get the money. Fucking, fucking bitches is gonna get money. Hey, whoa, whoa, we're on TikTok, guys. Sorry, we can't, <laughs> sorry. Uh, we don't want to get banned. Having relations with other females is... Other females? So you're female yourself? I, I, you don't know what he got? You assuming his gender? Assume, you, you assuming I'm their sorry, gender? I'm sorry. I assume, I want to assume, sorry. You gonna, you gonna, you gonna let... You gonna, let, now, you gonna let them gender. assume your gender? I identify as a Firefox, so therefore I'm a, I'm an animal. Oh, guys, I'm in the uh, process of doing a, tra- I identify as an Apache attack helicopter, so I'm in the uh, process of getting um, propellers uh, attached to my bag and, mi- and, and, and missiles, <laughs> and missiles on my forearms. Yo, <laughs> 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 everybody but himself. I know. Here. What you talking about? No, I'm saying you too light. You gotta go, go, go on the other <laughs> What you talking <laughs> about? <laughs> got a rotisserie your ass. Bro, I look like the mushroom Mario eats every time. Yeah. <laughs> you, you, you look like Toad. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker's like Toby. To- your name is Toby. <laughs> How do you keep him like that? It'll be whatever you want it to be. <laughs> Now, for real though, I think this year, this year, I want to enjoy more life. So you know, I want to, I want to like. <laughs> you know, focusing on mental health, like you know, focusing on like happiness and like what makes me happy. I'm just doing stuff for you instead of. Yeah, you know what I mean, like like really focusing on me and like being less of a giver. Respectfully, yeah, no, that's definitely part <clears throat> of mine too, because putting out more energy that. You well, get re- well I, I reciprocating energy. That's, what, that's, yeah, what that's, that's definitely energy. what it is. Like I tried that last year, like like halfway through, and it was starting to work out. But then like you lose focus sometimes. Mm-hmm. This year it's like nah. But mm-hmm. anyway, so you know like if you're not going to do what I do for you, don't waste my time. Straight back. Like if you even going to like try to message me, or if I try to message you and you're not going to like even attempt. I'm done. Shit, me, me and this man Stewie were on the phone like three o'clock in the morning the other day. I was talking. You know what that's I mean? Like, all you, that's all you could do, just talking on the phone. Nah, just... but like straight back, like if I call, if I'm calling you at three in the morning, <clears throat> I expect like you to call me at three in the morning. Right. Not on some like on some gay shit. On some gay shit. But on some like <laughs> like if you actually need to uh, talk, knew it. <laughs> light skins, I knew brother. it. No, no, it's the light skins. You said it. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yeah. Nah, yeah, there. So, but like, <laughs> so is there something you want to explain to us before we get back to this little resolution, sir? All I'm saying is when I first got here, I saw him walking out of that, that, that little room over there. You know what that little room over there is? How if I open that fucking door for you? <laughs> <laughs> oh. He was like, coming out the closet? <laughs> nah. But it's just like. <clears throat> yeah, you like you saying you gotta reciprocate energy. You know, what if I mean? I'm like, gonna do something for you, I expect you to do the same thing for me. Oh yeah, like well, if you look, up. look, my 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 uncles, my dad, they always said one. They always told me one thing: one hand washes the other. You know what I mean? My dad, my dad always said that shit to me since I was a kid. You know what I mean? He always said like, you gotta understand like, relationships you build with people, it's a give or take. A hundred percent. Like like no, no matter how you want to, whether there's something about you that they either want to take, and it's something about them that you want to take. You know what I mean? Whether it's energy, whether it's you know. Happiness, whether it's like 
pretty much anything, you know what I mean? They, like, that's like it don't it don't have to be like physically, it doesn't have to be monetary, it doesn't have to be anything, but like all types of relationships in this life are give and take. And that's what it is. If you if it's just give, 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 mm-hmm. it's an issue. If it's just take, 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 that's an issue. That's how you know it's a, I wouldn't even say toxic relationship. It's just a relationship that you're just being used. Well, toxic relationship. You said because even friendships can be toxic. See, I don't want to say toxic because toxic can be a give and take, but at the same time, it could be a giving of negativity and a taking of negative. Yeah, but but you understand know that I mean? that only like have being in a full. There's different forms of toxicity. You know what I mean? There's different f- types of to- toxics. Put it put it this way: you guys are in a relationship, but then you guys are both abusive to each other. That's that's toxic. But so let's say you are taking her money, and then she's taking half of what you make. Not even half of what you make, but she's taking like you're not allowed to do whatever you want anymore. Yeah. Like you have to be on her time. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's that's what I consider as like a waste of time. It's not really toxic because nothing's really like bad, bad. But as soon as it becomes like oh now you're hurting me, yeah. like physically or mentally. That's when it becomes toxic. Because mental abuse is real. Yeah, no, definitely. Mental abuse is real. You, you can, you guys can be in love. You guys, even in your friendship, you know, you can have friends who are mentally abusing you. You don't even realize it. You know what I mean? They're taking energy from you. They're taking, like, all these different, like, like cause I believe, I'm a big believer of energy. I'm a big believer of, like, you know, like, like we're literally, like, on different, like, wavelengths. Like, they can literally mess up your wavelength of what you're on. Like, I'm a big believer that, Guess what? Blood doesn't make family. Oh, definitely not. You know what I mean? Because people always see so always talking about with a kid, blood thicker than water, nah. but we don't drink blood to survive. It's thicker than water, but it's, doesn't mean it's better than water. Yeah. Exactly. <clears throat> blood's not gonna keep you living. You know what I mean? So you even like in like your like like, like exactly, blood's not gonna keep you living. So like that whole of it, like oh, but that's my mom, but that's my dad, but that's this, but that's that. Let all that shit go. Twenty twenty three. You know what I mean? That mentality of you have to sit here and freaking hold people like because you understand that you can hold people to whatever standard you want. Mm-hmm. You can hold people to whatever standard you want, but at the end of the day, you're you're putting an unrealistic expectation on them. You know what I mean? Like, <clears throat> like I'm a true believer of actions speak louder than words, mm-hmm. and when somebody's trying to tell you something, believe that shit. People will tell you and show you who they really are. Honestly, like, it, there have been situations, like, you guys have known. It's not always going to be they're going to show you directly. You're going to have to listen. You're going to have to watch. And then you're going to see and you're going to realize and you're going to start to process, like, wait, what's actually going on here? Mm-hmm. And then eventually something's just going to... All right, now it's, you got you got to get out of here. Yeah, bro, I've been I've been situations where it's like, like especially me, like you know what I mean, like one of the what I've been told is like I don't even want to say a flaw. It's like I have like a very big heart, and I have my very big understanding, and I'm been told I'm Captain Sabo, and I mean that like like not just females. I mean like literally like when I see somebody I care about down, I go above and beyond for them. Yeah, you know what I mean. And it's like I had to learn the hard way multiple times that only because people are asking you for help doesn't mean they really want help. They just like the idea of not having to rely on themselves. And there's also those people that just want you just so they don't feel alone. Mm-hmm. And I guess, like, whether it's friendship. Or, there's people that will literally sit here and be drowning. And while at the same time, while they're helping you freaking take the water out the boat, they're the ones that made the hole in the boat in the first place. Like, the person that caused you your issue might be the one that's helping you through that issue. Because that's what type of friend they are. They're... Breaking you down just to be like, oh yeah, I'm here for you. Yeah. What's crazy, y'all see that? I had somebody like that. I think we all did, honestly. Yeah. I had, so I had this one cat. We used to work, we started working together when I started. Cool, chill, funny, everything. I mean, he kind of like switched up on me. Like, I started seeing it when he started ratting me out and shit. And he got too big of himself at the job. So now people are like, oh, but that's still your boy. Like, nah, that's not my boy. That's just my coworker. Because I don't view him as my boy because he's been <clears throat> doing stuff to me. I don't do nothing to him. But now you look at, now I got to look at him sideways. But then it's like, oh, shit. Well, he got to still be cool, cool. Nah, you're not like that no more. All right, I'll, I'll give y'all a perfect example. I can tell the story because it happened at Wendy's. All right. It's not like an actual, it's, it's a true story. But it's, it doesn't matter anymore. Mm-hmm. 
I'm actually still, I know the people, and they actually might, they might see this later, it's kind of funny, but it's whatever. So, I'm at Wendy's, I'm work, and I wasn't, I wasn't even working that day. Mm -hmm. The other manager stole $400 mm. from the, uh, Cash person? not the drawer, but from the deposit. Mm. So instead of putting it in the deposit, he put it under his phone. Caught on camera and everything. The next day, we both work together. Do the deposit, totally fine. The next day comes, I get a phone call. We're missing four hundred dollars in the deposit. What happened to it? It came from yesterday. I was like, wait, wait, what are you talking about? I counted the money myself. It, sh it should be fine. Apparently, he took the money from my deposit the mm. previous day and put it into that first one, mm. and then blamed it on me. Saying that I took it. So I was like, that's not true at all. So then they looked at the uh, reports and everything and see where it was and be like, okay, well, if no one confesses up to it, y'all both gonna have to pay you $200 worth. And then that's, you know, you get fired for that. Because you know, it doesn't really matter, you stole money, and you're gone. Yeah. So if it wasn't for the cameras, I would have been screwed. They literally have this man on camera just mm -hmm. sliding it. So I'm, thank God for the cameras. But afterwards, for the paperwork to get into the system to help him out. So he had the nerve to blame me first and then ask me for help. And I'm just sitting there just like, really? Like, you almost costing me my job. Exactly. So that's... That's that relationship, I'm like, because me and him were totally cool. We went mm -hmm. fishing, we went crabbing, everything, this and that together. I met his family, mm -hmm. his brothers. Bro, you don't know somebody's true colors. Don't know. <clears throat> Bro, I, I can relate to that because I'm working at Walgreens. There was a dude, he, he was mad chill, he was mad, mad chill, mad chill. But, like, he was, like, cool with everybody. And, like, he was, at one point became one of my boss's star employees. Like, anytime you need him to work, he's there, he's good, yeah. he's good, blah, blah, blah. Come to find out, he ended up stealing over four thousand dollars, four to ten thousand dollars worth of dollars from Walgreens. What he would do is he'd um. If, let me ask you this: How many times you go to a store and they ask you if you want a receipt? You say, "Nah, keep it." Yeah. Or throw it out. Like I don't want it. I just say I don't really want a receipt. Yeah, you don't yeah, want the receipt, right? You have them throw away. Yeah, you have them throw away. What he would do is he keeps a receipt, and like on his lunch break or like at the end of the day and stuff, he'd take the same products that are on the receipt off the shelf and be like, "Yeah, I want to return these," and then take the cash back. Because if it's below a certain amount of threshold, you don't have to get a manager's approval to get the returns. Wow. And what he would do is he'd uh, go to like, oh, me and you are cool, bro. Can you just return these for me today? Blah, blah, blah. Hey, have you return today? Have you return tomorrow? Have somebody else return the next day, next day, blah, blah, blah. And it was like, and the thing is he'd have multiple receipts. Like, okay, I want to return some stuff from this receipt. I wanna, now I want to return some stuff from this receipt. Now I want to return some stuff from this receipt. And it's like... Those people are not your friends. Literally. Because that's what happened to the that, other that, that, three girls. The three girls. A, uh, Yessi, and. Okay. Yeah. They're doing coupon scams. I think a lot of people get the best of that shit. You, know, you get, you go to this job, or whatever the case is, you meet all the people and shit, and then they want to be buddy buddy with you, but then they're going to backdoor you and shit, and they're going to throw you on the bus, and they be like, oh, well. He did this, 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 and this. Exactly. Like if you were just with me the other day kicking it at the bar getting a drink. Mm. So how are you going to backdoor me after you just sat there and just trying to keep yep. with me? You know what I'm saying? Like it's weird because this whole generation of people in general, like you start to see true colors. Like ever since COVID, you Every, start to see true colors in everybody's situation. Like Put it this way. Everyone's now looking up for themselves. Yeah. But bro, you here, here's my whole thing. And this is what I tell everybody. It's very simple very simple thing you got to do yeah. it's called mind your business literally that's it. <clears throat> bro i literally you, you ever read the, i read in a book it was on um, rich that rich that poor dad mm -hmm. it literally says mind your business what you don't know can't hurt you <clears throat> like if it doesn't directly affect you don't worry, don't about, worry it. about it you know what i mean and it's like a mess up mentality they have they say because like oh you know that's that's your boy you should look out for him i'm like i don't mind looking out for my boy 
Uh, but I'm not. It's not my job to make sure that like somebody else is good. All right, ready for this? This is I. I usually get a lot of shit. For this. A lot. If your boy's in a one on one fight, you jumping in? No. No. Your boy's getting two on one, jumping in? Yeah. Two on one. No. Like like he two people are jumping on him. Two people are jumping on him. Yeah. No. Not yet. I He's not getting jumped yet. What do you mean that's? I'm not jumping in. Here's the thing. It's your boy, right? Mm -hmm. Let's see if you can handle two people first. Let's see if he's starting. If he's not handling it himself well, then I'll jump in. But I'm not starting. Because think about it. Now you're just involving yourself into an incident that you're not involved in. Yes, I understand that's your boy. But now you have to think about the full repercussions of what might happen. It's only two people. He gets his ass beat. Did he deserve it? That's number one question. Oh, yeah. Did he deserve That's it? number like, one question. What, 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 yeah, that is the number one question. What, what, what's causing this? Did he deserve it? If the answer is yes. Then I try to talk him out of it. Exactly. However, if he did not deserve it, and two people are jumping on him, and he's starting to lose, I am definitely 100% jumping in. Three or more? I'm going to tell, tell you why I'm not jumping in on no situation. For one, let's say, for example, let's say your boy gets drunk. Right. He is drunk. Now, when you drunk, what happens? You add a sword, you dizzy. You yeah, you're not yeah. That's right? what I'm saying. But now, he puts up a situation <laughs> one on one. I might have, might grab him, pull him back to the side, I'm like yo, relax, exactly. chill, boom, boom. Now he gonna go run back and do the same shit. Now he can, now it's two on one. I'm not jumping in. If, yeah. Now if you gonna fuck up. Now you gonna fuck around and be with me. You gotta act a certain. Wait, you exactly. Play. You have to act a exactly. That's what you I'm trying to get to. I'm like, especially if we're hanging out, you need to have a special conduct mm -hmm. and special respect for yourself. <laughs> yeah, I'm especially definitely not going to be like the cops are definitely not a part of this. Cause I, I don't want to see nobody, you know, fuck around, go to the hospital, yeah. and then fuck around. Oh, he in the hospital. But where, where your boy? That nigga went home. And, and then he'll call me the next day. Well, why didn't you come? Da, da, da. Like, well, here's the thing: you drank too much. You try to fight old boy. And get you work me. out, and you end up with a two on one. I left. You wanted to act like that. Well, yeah, like I said, it all depends too. Like I'm talking about, like when I said I was jumping, I'm talking about like dudes just throw my boy. He's like, yo, bro, I don't want no problems. Blah blah blah. Yeah, that's, hey, different. that's different. That's, that's a different. Completely different. Yeah. That's completely different. Like if somebody, if you see some, if somebody, if you like, say for example, we're just walking. Somebody walks up, they see us, and you start talking shit. That's different. Now we're going to back each other up. Now we're going to look out for exactly. each other. Exactly. But if they're the ones if, causing me to if, enter, like to get yeah. involved into a situation that I didn't want to be in in the first place, I am not helping you. You are on your own. You disrespecting me to the... Yeah. It's like a point of disrespect because you should know if we're going out, I'm not, I'm here to chill. Yeah. I'm not here for prime the craziness. Example. Give me a prime example. Remember old girl that got killed down in Mexico last year? Think so. Yes. Big news. Yes. What happened? All her friends jumped her and whooped her ass to the point where they killed her. Like they beat her mercifully, where she had no spinal fluid, nothing. Yeah. And they're killing her in Mexico. The friends are hiatus right now, right? So when I saw that, I'm looking. I'm like. <laughs> it makes zero sense for y'all to go down to Mexico. Yes, was that fun? Exactly. Well, you ain't supposed to go down there and kill somebody. But that's the thing too, bro. You never know what someone's true intentions are with you. You never know. But we don't. Nobody knows like the true intentions. Bet your friends, people. Bet your friends. Also, do not have big circles. Always have small circles. How many friends do you guys think I have? Be honest. So including me, zero. Me, knowledge. <laughs> that's it. I have. Damn, how you the dick at? <laughs> no, right. no, think right. I have, what am I, a pawn? <laughs> See. I have Caesar, I have you, I have Jamon. Right. Three people have my podcast. One by anyone else. Like, to become a, like an actual host. And then I have my boy Ricky. He's one of my Asian friends. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm at? Yeah, you always have to have one Asian. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and then you know Maddie, best friend. One girl. Mm -hmm. That's all I need. All yeah, I, I have... <clears throat> all I need is a family. It's always been me. Okay, I see. I don't consider family friends because they're. No, I'm talking about like the immediate blood family. That's, so that's all you, you need. The ones you hang out. Bro, okay. that's 
Bro, and that's, oh, what, that's all I really need. Bro, that's, and that, to be honest with you, that's my biggest flaw. My biggest flaw is that, like, there's some people in my family that I just ride too hard for. Like, yeah. like, like they could be in the wrong. Yeah. And then, like, I'll I ride for you. them. I feel you. I'll ride for them. I'm I'll, saying, but I'm saying, like, think about this. I got siblings, brother and sister. They'd have been in my house. But we all know how to hang out together, chill, do X, Y, Z. See? But sometimes... I'm opposite. But sometimes when you don't have those kinds of siblings and then they'll do stuff to you, then it's like, all right, now I can understand where Caesar's coming from. That's me. I, yes, I have, like, two separate families, but that makes it ten times worse. Right. I have Steven, who's upstairs. Me and him barely ever hang out. Right. Ever. Like, right. we might say hi, we might talk for a little bit, we might, like, maybe five minutes, ten minutes at the most. <laughs> That's our, like, chill time together. Then I have, like, my little brother Robert, whenever I'm going to the house, I'm playing video games with him. And that's really it. When I'm chilling with like the little kids, playing around with them for a little bit, when I'm out, I'm spending maybe like three or four hours. Right. I'm not actually like, you know, oh, let's go out, let's do this, like stuff like right. that. Nah, I don't got that. Cousins and all that stuff. Most of which don't even live in Jersey. Oh yeah, everybody got that. Everybody got those got those kinds of families, but most of them all of mine. State. All of mine don't live here. That's the issue. My closest cousin mm -hmm. on like this side is in New York. So it's not too far, but he's in his 30s. So it's not like I can chill with him the way I chill with like you guys. You right. know what I mean? Because he has his friends who are his age. And most of my cousins, except for the one that's in Ohio that y'all saw, are my age. All of them are over, older. That's why I feel bad for Steven, because he's the youngest out of all the cousins. Mm -hmm. So we don't have that tight-knit bond unless mm -hmm. we're on like, a family vacation. And like I have cousins out here from the other family that live in like Rawway and stuff like that. That's a trip. I can't be seeing them all the time, you know what I mean? So it's like that family bond for me isn't <clears throat> as strong as it could be just because my family is so spread out. What do you think? Like, my family's spread out too, especially like on my mom's side and shit. But it's like, I have like certain cousins and shit, like that I, like my one cousin, she lives like literally like five minutes from here. And she could tell you, bro, if I drive by and I see her car, I stop every time. See, but every time. She lives close. Yeah, she lives close. I don't have none of mine. I'll, the I'll, closest. I'll give, you, I'll give you the real one. I got an uncle on my dad's side. His brother literally lives right around the corner from right here. He lives right there over on the Indian uh, Indian Lane. Oh, wow. So you, right around the corner? Right. And he used to live over at Society Hill, so go up there, Even go right there. Mm -hmm. He ain't got to go that far. So my closest one is probably a 45-minute drive away from me. That's the closest that I have. Well, I'm going to ask you, but I'm sure going to ask you. In high school, right? And I've had the same situ issue situation right now at the job. So people keep saying that I live in a big ass house. Like I live in a mansion. Is it bigger than Technically, mine? when you look at these kinds of houses, do you think they're mansions? No. It's yeah. regular size. Yeah. Three floors. Yeah. Thank you. Because I keep getting that same scenario and I'm like, yo. Is your house bigger than mine? Well, just not a lot. Okay, then you're fine. If, bro, you, if but, you have a house like, bro, you gotta understand that like too. Yeah, they gotta understand too. Like, not cut you off or no shit like that. Like, nah. bro, the first time I came to your house, I was like, oh damn. Like, yeah, this nah, is, mad people yeah, did the same thing to me. People, Everyone does that to me. Think about it. I, every day when I had to get the ride on the bus, yep. Everybody kept saying, "Yo, you live in a mansion. You live in a mansion." I'm like, no. Y'all gotta realize, my parents worked to get this house. They didn't just get this house for free. This Here's the thing. You have to think about the way that they grew up. They didn't grow yeah. up into the, uh, oh, we have respect. I mean, that's the but to me, that, that's a problem. It's normal. Yeah. It's, it's a problem because it, it, it looks, it makes me feel like I'm a white, black kid. You know what I'm saying? Because think about it. You, you're when middle it, class. Think of, yeah. But when, think about when, this, though. You go down to Jackson, right? Yeah. Everybody goes out to Six, six, uh, six Flags. Those things and you see them gigantic huge. ass houses, right? But then you be like, damn, whoever is living in those houses make way more, protecting their kids, making sure they're safe. If they have kids. If they have kids, at best, Got retired, some couple maids, couple, like a couple hundred cars. Yeah. Exactly. You know, it's crazy. But, but sometimes I don't like that mentality, and then I think that's another reason why, as a whole, we get separated. 
Because when the poor look at the middle class, they think, oh, or the poor look at the higher class, they say, well, he making sec, uh, such and such more money than I am. So why am I living on Section 8 struggling to make that same amount of money? Well, here's the thing. If you chose to live that life, that's how you're going to be. That's how you're going to be portrayed as. I'm not saying it's wrong, but I'm saying... Struggling, you're not saying it's your choice. Sometimes yeah, it's not your choice. It's, it's not. Choice. Struggling is not, <laughs> is not a good so, thing. It's your bro. mentality of how to it's get out of it. It's a mentality thing. Like, it is. Bro, look. Like, you just got to just continue to work, 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 and work, and work, like, to get to where you want to get to. But and, you and ain't going to get this shit for free. And not only that, it's about who you surround yourself with, too. You know what I mean? Like, one reason, like, uh, and not for nothing, I like to, like, make it seem like no, no type of shit. Like, one reason I like hanging out with you guys because y'all have, like, you know what I mean? Y'all have a better mentality, you know what I mean? Y'all ain't really, for, like, for, like, oh, let's be in these streets, let's do this, let's do that, let's, uh, let's rob, let's steal, let's do That's a problem, shit. bro. That's I, another problem, too. And, it's, and, I, and I get it. Not, I cut you off, I'm sorry. No, and I get it because sometimes when that's all you know, sometimes right. you, you got to hit a lick to fucking keep the lights on. Sometimes you got, like, I've, I've, I've seen that. When you're struggling, oh, I got to do this. Yeah, you're struggling, but, but the point is, you want to keep yourself there. But sometimes hitting those licks can exactly. ignore you. They're going to exactly. put you either six feet deep or you face it 25 to life. But, so which one is you gonna do? Bro, not, not, not and the lick is like I said, it, it's not really cool to just struggle. But you want to see other people be like, oh well, he got this, this, this. Trust me, I had somebody at the job, and I never car, and they gave me a ride home, and then it was like, yo, he got a big house, he makes such and such money, he, da, da, da. and I'm like, no, I don't. I said you got to look at a certain situation. Like, if you view somebody that has a nice house. That's fine. Just say it's a nice house. It's not no fucking mansion. It's just a nice house. Like, my parents built that house. That was just land. My parents built that shit. Like, that's nothing. Dude. I just lived there. I'm 26. I just lived there. Like, and that's what, that's what I was going to say. Like, I'm the kid in the house. It's not my house. Yeah. Because when I move out, I'm not going to get the same thing they have. I'm not going to. Exactly. You're not going to have that same. You're going to see me in a smaller room than what you have right now. Right. Just to start out. Because I'm not going to be starting out in no yeah. $30,000 house. <laughs> Unless you have that community of people where you can support each other, so right. therefore you can get that house. Right. But as the age of right now in house society and how much rent in all our houses is, you're not going to be able to just, oh, yeah, I have this amount of money for my parents, so I'm just going to stay here. But, bro, at the same time, though, like, not to cut you off, the, re- I, like, I, I, the one reason I can't understand why people yeah. say that to you is because I know people who are living in apartments and their rent is being paid by their parents. Yeah. 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 No, of course. I know yeah, people. I believe that too. I know people who can, like, I've had conversations with people and, like, like I've literally, like, I had to get them to get, like, you don't know what it's like to, like, come home and not know the lights are going to be on. Yeah. I go, which yeah, is no. fine. Like, I would never wish that on nobody. Like, having to come home and, like, damn, like. I got to. Exactly. Like, I got to do, I got to come up with money because if not, I'm I'm be taking cold showers. Yeah. You know what I mean? I know people who never had a freaking boil water to go take a warm shower. And like that's the st- the, to me, like I said, the struggling part is the fucked up part. And that mentality, like I said, you don't want to think like you want to struggle. Yeah. You don't want to, you know, like you said, not have the hot showers, have the AC, have the heat. What else? Food on the table, some decent clothes. And then on top of that, if you think about this too, most of the ki- most of the cats we came up with, what they always wear, same stuff. Because a lot of didn't have the same shit that we had. They didn't have the Jordans. They didn't have the Nikes. Bro, they I had the shit that they could afford off the of food stamps. Bro, I don't Walmart, know. Bro, growing Walmart, up. Walmart, Target, bro. anything that you could find, get that shit. Like, bro, growing up, I had gotten one pair of sneakers a year. One, for the whole oh, year. I remember. Yeah, same. One pair of sneakers same. for the whole year. Like, these, these are your, these, you got new shoes for the first day of school. It was funny you say that. I don't know if you remember. Did you see me in eighth grade? In eighth grade, from seven and eighth grade, all I wore was sweats, and everybody clowned me for it. It would same sweats. It would be a gray sweatsuit or a gray hoodie with the gray sweats, with the gray pants. I would wear that every day. It would be a different color, gray, green, black, didn't matter. And I wore that every day. And everybody said, but you dirty, bro. You did da 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 Well, what if I didn't feel like wearing jeans? Or what if I didn't feel like putting on my good clothes? What if I didn't feel like, you know, going out, flashing out? That's what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's school. I'm going to wear a hoodie bro, and something comfortable. Bro, exactly. I, I used to get clowned because I didn't have more clothes. Like, oh, didn't you wear the other? Like, yeah, like, yep. like, bro, I remember there were times in my, in my growing up where I had one pair of pants for, like, 
that's it. Like every couple days I was watching them shits. Right. I did, I my mom just couldn't afford that shit. You know what I mean? And, it, and as, that's one of the biggest issues I think we face is like stuff like that. Like 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 um I remember when I was in middle school, right? Middle school or, or, or Samson. I don't remember. Remember when they were doing that whole thing where they were talking about going to uniforms? Yes. Oh yeah, that Pe- was a big thing. Yeah, people didn't understand like like why I voted for uniforms, and I'm like, you don't know how embarrassing it is when you see like the same person that wear the same shit every day, and then they gonna get clown about it. Yeah, they gonna clown. So, so let's all just wear the same stuff every day. You know what I mean? All right, so let's... not a big off, but Christian school, I wore uniforms. Then it came to Franklin. That's why I don't like. I saw. I understand where you're coming from, but I also have like the reverse side of yeah. like yeah. us, like where we came from, because it it boils down. When, when you speak, let's speak on the clothes first. When I was in uniforms, hated that thing. Hated wearing the same thing every single day. I just wanted to be, you know, you want to be yourself. Mm-hmm. That's the one thing I always hated uniforms. However, when I got to high school, I was like, kind of don't want this anymore. I don't want that freedom. I kind of really want to just wear the same thing over and over again. Because then I don't got to think about it. Mm-hmm. I don't got to think about what I got to wear the next day. I don't got to worry about someone saying, oh, you wore that, you wore that yesterday. You wore that last week. Why, why are you wearing it again? You don't got to worry about that stuff. But I can understand after you wear uniforms for so long, you just want to be able to just free yourself. You nah. just wear your way you want. And I get that, but for some people, freaking wearing your uniform, the difference between being able to tell if, like, your your value, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, how much money you really got at home. Like, yep. don't get me wrong. Like, bro, I, I already know, like, where I'm at in life right now, I broke so many, like, curses, generational curses, you know what I mean? Like, I'm living, like... <clears throat> I'm currently making better. My father came to America. I'm a first-generation American. So my father came to America at 18 years old, not knowing how to. My dad, to this day, doesn't even know how to read and write. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So I look at my lifestyle. I'm like, damn, like, like for me, like, my whole life was always, for me, was always taught to me, like, we want you to have a better life than we had. And see, that's the thing. That's why it's reversed for us. That's why I say it's, an, it's another side for us mm-hmm. because you had to struggle. Mm-hmm. And that's, no. why you're, that, and that's why you're the way you are today. Mm-hmm. For no. us, we didn't. You know what's crazy? This shit made me sad every time I go to New York. Every time I go to New York, I always see the homeless people. Mm-hmm. For whatever reason, that shit make me sad because it's like, y'all can't be out here struggling this bad. And it's really fucked up how everyone just passes them by. And they just pass them by yeah. and you're not helping them out. Now, sometimes I had this argument too where people said, well, what up, girl? sometimes these people, they like to scan the face and play like they homeless, but yeah. they're really not. Sometimes. But sometimes, but when you see that shit in person, you're just like, nah, I can't. Nah. Bro, you, you know, I can't see a homeless person and have cash in my pocket and I give them some. Here's the thing. I know in New Brunswick, some of them are fake. I'm not saying fake. So that's yeah. why. But, but some but of them are, like I said, there's some are fake. If they're but, in a group, they're fake. But here's, here's my, my old argument on that. That's not up to me to decide. You know what I mean? Like, I'm a big believer of reciprocating energy. What you put out into the world will come back to you. Bro, I don't, um, my mom was homeless when she had my older sister. Like, my mom used to have to, like, literally, like, kiss a piece, like, a pizza shop owner, like, three times a day so my, my older sister could have one slice of pizza three times a day so that way she could have three meals a day. Like, sleeping on a park bench, living off a park bench the whole nine yards. Like, like my mom, like, my, my mom has told me the story. My sister has told me the story. My sister has memories of this shit of, like, literally sleeping on a park bench. This is what I mean. You had, because of those experiences, mm-hmm. it made you feel like, oh, I have to do better. More fucked for us mm-hmm. because we got when we were growing up, we grew up in that comfortability. Mm-hmm. We didn't grow up with no struggle. We didn't have to grow up where we had to worry about clothes, food, heat, nothing like that. Mm-hmm. So therefore, I feel like we were coddled right. too much. Yeah. So therefore, but that's hold on. But that's what's crazy. You say that. I had this argument too. So y'all know. With your parents, right? Nah. It was with people around me. I had it with my parents. <laughs> nah. I had this argument with a few, uh, few of my little homies and my cousin. And this argument was always about sports. Mm-hmm. Y'all know about sports, football, basketball, mm-hmm. whatever these things. The argument always was what was it? Was it better? It was, it was really like. So I got a friend that has another as a friend that complains about his parents, right? So 
and they told me the story of how the shit happens, right? So they used to work for an MLB mm-hmm. as the, uh, the, the lawn. Yeah, the okay, lawn care people. Shit was struggling for him. I felt bad, he told me about it. This or that. Then it was, he would complain and say that his parents didn't do enough for him. Right? Hold on. He would say that his parents never did enough for him. His parents never looked out for him. But his parents looked out for his sister. So I've told him this. I said, you got to realize something. You live in Chicago. What, what is Chicago known for? Chirac. Simple. Yeah. Don't nobody... So his favorite sport is baseball. And I've told him this too. I said, yo, not too many of us play baseball. Play baseball. They looking for a basketball or football. Oh. Simple. Baseball, eh. It was alright. It was more Yeah, it's in Spanish. But in no, he's right. It's more Hispanics that play baseball. Hispanic, yeah. Bro, my, my cousin, I think, ran just going to the minor leagues. Yeah. Right. So he was telling him, like, yo, but you got to realize something. Your parents did enough for you to get by. He went to Virginia State. He helped the, yeah, that's what I said. They paid for it? I don't know. If they, if, I, if it they was, paid for it, they didn't know. Yeah. But that's, they, that's already right, because that's but, like 75. But they did enough for him just to get to school. Like, you gotta realize, you 28, you can't be crying and going back to your parents, bro. Like, you gotta think about this too. Your family did enough for you. There's other families in that city that are struggling. You you truly got to think about it. They, Chicago ain't no fucking joke. And know? that's why I said, if we are, if the people that are in the middle class, right. when they have kids, they coddle them too hard. Right. They don't get them ready for society yeah. correctly. Right. So this is the part that this is the part that fucked me up. So he was like, his family never went to none of his baseball games, but they went to his sister's basketball games. So I told him this too. I said, you got to think about this. You go to a baseball game. You think you're going to sit there for a whole eight hours of nine innings? In baseball? Virginia. Yeah. In Virginia? Yeah. You're going to sit there. Every yeah. single game? If it's my kids, yeah. In Virginia. Bro, I'm Dominican. That's normal to me. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm saying, well, I'm saying, I'm saying baseball in general. You're going to sit there yeah. and watch through nine innings. No, if it's my kids, I, I, I I've, Bro, I've watched baseball. Like, I, I, I grew up in a baseball yeah. household. That's true. I understand. But what I told him was, a lot of us not gonna watch it because you gonna sit there be bored. Yeah. But think about it, this: I had seen the interview with Alex Rodriguez on why he owns the Minnesota Timberwolves, and he said the reason why he owned the Timberwolves is because he has little girls. So he's like, I don't want them to sit there and be bored, but I chose to own the Timberwolves so we can have the excitement, the camaraderie, enjoyment. It's different. It's just a different. It's, environment. Different. it's a different environment. Like if you go to a baseball game. All right, yeah, you can sit there for like nine innings and, you know, Be watch cool. the, yeah, just watch the ball, and then you got to wait for somebody to hit the ball. It's cool, but at the same time. After all, especially yeah. if no one scores, exactly. it's boring. So, I, so that's why I told that to him. I said, but you also got to realize, your family did enough for you. You got to yeah. be appreciative because in these kinds of times, there's young cats our age that don't appreciate what was given to them. Bro, for example. For example, what you said. Mm-hmm. My mom couldn't couldn't put me in all sports. My mom didn't yeah. have the schedule nor the time yep. to, to pick me up from a sport. Yeah. From for me to actually be able to stay after school and stuff. Like, I if, if it wasn't for the bus, golf. I would have to yeah golf. You remember? Yeah. I literally drove him to practices. Mm-hmm. Like, it's not because of the situation. It's just because we were. That's just what we did. Yeah. Like, if you wanted, to, like, if you were a kid and since we were you know better off, right. We offered to help whenever we could. Yeah. Right. If you need, like, we gave him clothes, we gave you yeah. everything, everything you needed, we took care of. Didn't ask, didn't ask for anything. Just because we're not, like, if we were in school, feed after feed after feed, even yeah. though they, even though you, you know, you might be getting free lunch. Right. And you're still getting charged to play sports. What? If you have the equipment, yeah. give it to them. What's the issue? Why are you making someone struggle more than if you already have? And that's why you see a lot of more athletes choose the private schools than the public schools. Yeah. My brother went through what, two private schools, to which was high as, high as hell mm-hmm. that my parents paid for. And there was times where 
Sometimes some defaults will happen in the house here and there. We had a hole in the ceiling, hot water barely ran, struggled a little bit, but we found ways to get the money. Exactly. But at the same time, I think that's why you see a lot more of these young athletes choose that private school life because they want a future that's better. And I told that to one of my friends. I said, some of these young cats that are coming up now, they want to better themselves as young men and young women so that they can future their kids in a better limelight mm -hmm. and show them like, yo, we ain't got to struggle. I'm going to show you the ropes. I'm going to teach you the ropes. And I'm going to give you the keys to how to fulfill, fulfill and success your dream in, in your career. Now, sometimes these young cats, they don't think like that now. They want to run the streets. They want to kill each other. They want to do the hard drugs. I always say now. That's in general. That's how. Yeah, like, it's well, in bro, general, but, it, but you, you it, see it. It's like cycling. It's, it's, it, it's, it's going to continue to go. It's like you said earlier, though. It's because of the music. A lot of it is because of music. Because that's mm -hmm. what that's what sells. You know, violence sells. Freaking all that stuff sells. That's right. really what it comes down to. Like you know what I mean? Like it's really on some like this is what sells. So they're gonna promote it, and people think like, oh wow, if I live that lifestyle, I could become like them. Yeah. Like freaking. Cardi B running around saying, openly telling people that she used to trick guys and dr and drug them Some and rob them. And rob them. Openly. Openly said it. Like, that, that's how she used to get by. And I, like, don't get me wrong. Like, I understand for the sense that, like, when you're struggling, you do what you got to do. You know what I mean? I've been in those, I've, I've never had, thank God I've never had to do shit like that. Mm -hmm. But I've been around people who had to do shit like that, who literally was like, like, I, 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 I talked to an old head, like, yo, what made you, like, go into the streets? He was like, I need to keep a roof on my head. I like, my mom. My mom was barely making ends meet, and when I was old enough to put, bring home some money, I did what I had to do. You know what I mean? Those people I respect, not, not, not the people who freaking... They just do it just to do it. Do it right. just because everybody else Everybody's, is doing it. The job market. That's an also reason why people go into the streets. They can't get a job, or they can't get the hours that they need, and they need money like this. So what's the way I'm going to do? Hit a lick, sell drugs. Quick money. Fast, quick, easy money. They, they sell themselves. If it sells, and you can get money quick... They're gonna do it. Mm -hmm. That's that's what they need. They don't need money in a week. They mm -hmm. need money today because the lights about to go off. So what am I to do? I'm gonna go sell this eighth real quick. Give me some rent money. I don't even talk about when you start a new job and they be messing up your payroll and now you have to wait X amount of time. Two to weeks to get till your first paycheck comes in. Then you might not even work the hours that you needed. So therefore, you're more injured on top of that. Mm -hmm. And that's also why I hate school. School is actually the biggest scam. Yeah, because no, bro, school teaches you how to become a working member of society. It doesn't teach you how to be good. It doesn't teach you. And the worst is college. But here's the thing: college for people, I'm sorry, minorities, mm -hmm. are better off if you came home if you were in a broken home. You're better off if you go to college. Wanna know why? Because you have the motivation to do to for bettering yourself. Right. And college is what's going to get you there. Right. Instead of being in the streets, you're in school. That's the alternative. Right. For them, or you're working 24 7. That's the two alternatives we gain in the streets school, work 24 7. So, the ones that are in school 24 7, I feel like they do better than the people that are middle class that have everything already set because our ambitions are not going to be set as high mm -hmm. as the people that need. We want, we like, uh, like for me, for example, I wanted to become an architect. There's other people in my class that needed to become architect. It was their dream, but they also needed to just so they can support their family, right. so they can better themselves to help their families. And I feel like for us, mm -hmm. the way we see it is, we need to do better so that we can be better for ourselves. And think about this. Why do you think more of us get into college easier? Sports. Think about it. Football. All you got to do is go crazy, do make big plays, and now all of a sudden you got multiple colleges looking at you. You got like 25 offers from some of the biggest schools in the country. On top of that, now you want to get into the league. All right, cool. I respect that. Now you want to make X amount of dollars. But now, nowadays, they didn't do this back Now, back then, it was pretty different. It's called the NIL deal. The NIL deal is name, image, and likeness. In college, you couldn't make money off your profit, your name. Yeah. I so. Can. For the school can. Yeah. Pretty much. Well, in the NCAA can. NCAA can. So, like, I don't know if y'all remember Reggie Bush. Mm -hmm. He went to USC. He won the Heisman. But the problem was, 
he was uh, profiting off his name, image, and likeness, and he couldn't do that. Same thing with Johnny Manziel. Did the same thing. So nowadays, you have the NIL deals. So now, these college cats are making at least a million dollars. If you're paying just, a, just, just a quick meal. Just doing whatever the case is. As long as you keep the grades up and you're staying on the team, exactly. you're making money. Sponsorships. It, you got to be, I think, just to be a starter. Yeah. Sponsorships. Uh, and it's through the school. Exactly. So it's going into their club. Because yeah. you're, you don't even have to look for it. They come to you like, all right, we're sponsoring you now. That's pretty much it. And then for the Hispanic community, scholarships. Yeah. That's all they give out. There's just trying to get a scholarship. There's very, oh, very hard. No, for not for Hispanic. <laughs> That's one of the in the military because I didn't know how I was going to afford college. I didn't know if I wanted to go to college because I never. My whole my ambition was always keeping keeping my lights on, keeping See? keeping a roof See? over my head, making sure that I never have to worry about if I'm cold, if I'm hot, if you know what I mean. And that's why I joined the military. That's why I did that, and it opened so many doors for me. And that's why it, it got me a trade. Yeah. It learned. It taught me to work with my hands. You know what I mean? Like that, that's the reason I'm a mechanic now, and that's the reason why I make okay money now. Because as a kid, I knew that how I was living, I one, when I have kids, I don't want that. Exactly. And two, I never want to go back to that. I never, bro. You know how you know how how it sucked it, it was living in Franklin as a poor kid, seeing all your friends always showing off their new iPhones, showing all your friends, and you right, walking around yeah. with a trap phone or no phone. Literally. 15, 16 Literally. years old. The slide. You can't. And none, none, none of that. Oh wow, Jordan. Let me get your number. None of that. Bro, I remember when it was like, oh, you want to text me? I'm like, bro, I got a paper text. Yeah. Can't bro, I, I have minutes. Yeah, bro. Paying for minutes too. Nah. Bro, I had a track phone up until I was like 15, 16. Bro, I didn't even have hotspot. I didn't have no Bro, video. and then I would have a phone, but my phone only worked on Wi-Fi. Yeah. I used to have an iPod that was WhatsApp, and that was it. Mm-hmm. And it was like, and I it was like. a lot of that, if you think about it, most of them cats, they didn't really have it like that. Year. But at the same time, if you truly look at it like this, I ain't really give a fuck with who, who had this, this, and this. My like, mentality was to go to school, get the education, play ball, and that's it. I ain't give a fuck about none of the females. I ain't give a fuck about who was the flyest Jordans, who who clothes was fly. I had I ain't give a fuck about none of that. It's all because it's it, all about mentality. Yeah, bro. And all, my mentality, and then for me. Like, it's my height. Everybody's like, oh, he little, he did it, 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 it. All right, it's fine. I don't give a fuck. That's I'm true. little. But at the end of the day, by the time I get out of high school, y'all gonna look at me sideways and be like, oh, that's, nah, stay on this. Nope. Remember that shit you did back in high school? Nah. And bro, th th that was my whole thing. I used to get clowned on for, for like the month, like I said, for pretty much being poor. I, and, right. and that's why, like, I tell people all the time, I'm like, I don't really like people. Like, I, I, I'm one of those people that if I see you and I knew you from high school, if you weren't somebody I was cool with, I try to act like I don't know who the fuck you are. Literally. Yeah. Literally. Like, Mind you, the very first time I told you, I ain't gonna say names, that lives right around the corner from us. Yeah. Thought living over there was cool. He, like, he lived over there was cool. But then he wanted to be on the street side. Yeah. You can't live, be a suburb kid that you want to go hit the streets. Nah, that's not how that shit works. Hmm. Like, how you, your family is doing good for you, but you want to go hit the streets? Yeah, not, the, that's that's the thing with me too, because I feel like it was rebellion. It is. It's no, it's literally, it. when, we're, when we're younger, we just wanted to do what we wanted to do without our parents telling us, telling us anything. Because they're already set, and we want to find out like what's gonna be our life? Right. We want to know like who we are. So that's why I feel like we either went out, had parties, and did all that stuff, or we stayed in, we did sports, because we were just trying to find ourselves. Yeah. But nowadays, since we're older, in your sense, you're just like, I want to do better than how I started. Yeah. For us, it's more like, all right. Who am I? Exactly. Yeah. We know that we can get to where our parents are. Yeah. But it's more of how are we going to do it on your end? Yeah. Because we don't have the, the struggle mentality. 
Right. We have the hustle mentality, mm. which is two different, completely different like types of. You don't want to struggle, but you still want to hustle. You still want to make that money, you but you want to relax. Money, yeah, you mm. still want to make the money, and you still want to find ways to like, all right, I'm gonna better myself, <laughs> better my future, I'm gonna better for kids, I'm better for a lot of people. Mm. But yeah. at the same time, you want to view and do stuff to make yourself like, all right, I'm gonna do this for myself. Mm. I don't want to struggle because if I struggle, now I'm gonna be asked out. Now I gotta start all over. I gotta start my one of my way back to the top. It's hard. It's not oh, exactly. Bro, like I, I love how you said that because this is the first job where I'm thinking to myself like, what am I gonna do all these vacation days? Bro, well, last time beautiful. La, last year I took a week payout. I'm not used to taking vacation. Growing up, I, my, my parents didn't go on vacation. Summer break, I hated summer break. Summer break, man, I want to guarantee three meals a day. Y'all went to funny school. I worked in New Brunswick for six years, right? Mm -hmm. And in those six years, I think I've never took a summer vacation. Never not once I've gone on a summer vacation. Really? I make sure. This is going to be my my first. Cause so I'm doing something at the end of the summer. Okay. But from June, July, <laughs> first half of August, I never took a vacation. So See, my okay. only vacation was I go up to North Jersey. And then I go to the city. That's pretty much it. Well, I'm, I'm I've never really I'm completely opposite. My parents love to travel, so therefore I'm just went to a room this year. Right. You know what I mean? It's like I I've been. Bro, literally yeah. every time I've left the state, nine times out of ten was for a reason. Like mm -hmm. the first time I ever left because I wanted to leave was I think two years ago or last year. Not not this Thanksgiving, but last Thanksgiving. I was like, you know what? I want to spend Thanksgiving with my uncle in Virginia. First time. Oh, I've had that. And it was like. Even to that, like, bro, literally, I was all this morning, and I'm still, like, even though I'm on call and stuff, but it hasn't been on call. And somehow, I took, like, last Tuesday, I took off for the electrician, and I'm still checking my phone, like, oh, I should be at work, I should be at work, I should be, like, I'm not used to, like, not working. See, that's, I'm completely different. Not only am I used to vacations, I'm used to school 24-7. That was my life for seven, straight to college, seven years straight. So, after school, I get out, I'll be working the entire summer, but I would always take a week, a week off. That's what I considered my my transition period from going to, from school and work just to straight work and twenty four seven. So that week is usually when I have my vacation time, mm -hmm. or I have it like later on throughout the year. And that's when I go on like my trips. And I never like even considered, oh yeah, I'm lucky to go on these trips. It's more like I need to go out and relax. I need to get away from everything. Right. That's how my mentality yeah, always is. So it's like, dang, people really don't even have to chance to do what I'm doing mm -hmm. and here I am just re enjoying mm -hmm. relaxing not having to worry about having to go to work mm -hmm. and I'm here you know because I'm I just need to relax and I have that option to actually get away from work mm -hmm. I, can't, I can't tell you how many times this man has invited me to go places with him and I'd be wanting to go and then when he comes up I'm like I can't, can't go because it worked no, it's funny. I just never took a vacation I just never took a day work I never took a half day I mean, I've sure. seen multiple of my co-workers take so one of them just took a whole year off. And, well, not a year. Ago. Since Thanksgiving, she's been off. I'm gonna say Bro, this. I know, I know people who literally. I, I know the one guy. Oh no, she went down to Dominican Republic. Yeah, they go to DR. And they, they come right yeah. back by January. Yep. They yep. One of my coworkers, he he does this all the time. He'll take off by August. No, no. June or maybe July. One of those two months. Joe could be gone for at least a whole month. And he'll, come back, he'll come right back right about school time. How many hours does he work throughout the day? 20 bucks says he's busting his ass before he gets to that month off. Hold on. I'm going to tell you. No. Yeah, I had to tell him my clock. No, I'm going to tell you like this. <laughs> it's 10 for 9. Yeah, it's pretty much 11 o'clock. No, I'm going to tell you like this. Hurry up. Like, it's not, this is final comment right here. Don't trust New Brunswick. They are the weakest and they are the stairs. They will back will black you. Not really. But they, they trust Dominicans like this, and Puerto Rican people. They like this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say this, people. Take a vacation from work, not in just, vacation. not just because it's you have the, the ability to do it because you have your, your hours, right. but for your mental. Yeah. Your mental, if it's just straight work, 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 and no relax, 
You're gonna go crazy. You're gonna kill yourself. Literally. People that do that in their life earlier. Not by you know, intentions, but you know. Yeah. Health wise. Mm-hmm. They're overworking themselves. If you don't take the breaks that they give you, you don't have to use all of them, of course. Mm-hmm. If you use a, like, let's say a week, maybe two, well, mm-hmm. your mental is gonna be I'm telling you, way better. Right. Bro, let me tell you one thing about my company. My last comment. My company is very big on you ain't losing your vacation days. Yeah. If you got them, we're gonna ha- we're gonna get them to you. Yeah. I just because you're in the since you're such in a work mentality, you, you don't want them, you don't need them. Yeah, I had to what I said like last year I took a payout. This yeah. year I'm a attempt to not have to take a payout. Bro, I'm telling you, yeah, payouts are good. However, being able to just turn off your phone and just say I'm not messaging anyone from work for a whole entire week, I don't have to think about it. I don't gotta do anything with it. It something switches on you, where after the second day mm-hmm. you're just like okay i can actually relax now i don't gotta worry about anything this is actually the time for me to actually like regenerate mm-hmm. right but those first two days of course you're gonna be like oh, someone's gonna call me especially your job but definitely for your mental you're gonna definitely feel better when you get those vacation days especially if you use them <laughs> Take your vacation days, guys. Take your vacation. You know, like, as always, we'll be back next week, 9.30. We'll try not to run this long. Hopefully with knowledge here. Hopefully with knowledge. And, and tomorrow, if she comes. And we'll see if we can bring some other people on to hang out with us. Justin, you want to say anything? Um, stay blessed, stay happy, get your money up. Don't get Not your money up. Big circles, have small circles. <laughs>